My name is Dana Berkey and welcome to my YouTube channel. In case you are new here, I am a young adult fiction author and as you guys probably saw from the title of this video, today I am making a holder for my spirit pins. Now if you guys don't know, spirit pins are basically clothes pins that people decorate at chair comps. I actually made a video where I personally made spirit pins, in fact I'll link it up here or maybe up here. I don't know which side it's going to be on, but it's going to be linked. Um, so you can click on that and watch that video of mine. Um, but I really wanted a way to display my spirit pins. I've been getting them for the last like season. I kind of got some at the very last comp of the 2017-18 season. But last season I got a ton. I mean, like literally this is just the ones from last season. And I mean, it is full. Um, some of them are just generic ones that were popped onto my bag. Some of them were actually made specifically for me. In fact, this one is from Jordan. Um, her Instagram is jordan.allure. And she actually wrote on it, hey, Dana C. Burke you just got pinned and I've posted this on my Instagram before because it is my absolute favorite pin I don't know when she pinned it on me, but I loved it. Oh and um, Kendall Hahn. She's a youtuber She's on Oregon dream teams dream She is like she pinned me in her vlog once and I didn't know it happened until I watched her vlog like later I was like, oh look Kendall pinned me and then I watched the vlog later and it was like her and Connor stalking me at the comp and pinning me and I didn't even know um, So I absolutely love spirit pins. I feel like it's a cool fun sneaky way to like encourage people I usually get some kids at the comp to help me pass them out But I really wanted a way to display them I have all my bows on display But I needed a spot to display my spirit pins and so I went to the craft store with my niece Casey last weekend And I actually picked up this it's just kind of like a crate looking like very much reminds me of like a palette and um, it's like wooden I don't know why knocking on it makes you know it's wooden, but it is. Um, and it was on sale for $7.99 or just uh, s selling for $7.99. And then I think I had a coupon that was like 40% off a full price item and then an additional 20% off your entire purchase because it was like holiday weekend. And so we're gonna start with this and I'm actually going to paint it using my graphite paint that I picked up. Now in that process, I also have a couple of blank colos pins clothes pins I made that extra syllables um, I have some blank clothes pins that I'm gonna also paint and I will show you why those are needed next uh, but basically to start out though we got this board and some paint we're gonna do a bunch of layers I'll do my best to kind of film as I like dry it and stuff and then I will check in to show you step two um, but I'm really excited for a way to finally display these and hopefully this video can be helpful to people that are also looking looking for a way to display theirs uh, but let's go ahead and get painting and I'll check in in a minute All right, so it has taken me literally hours to paint just because of like drying and stuff. I should have gotten my blow dryer out, but then I was also doing other stuff. Um, but so here's the back of the board. Sorry if my like process shot while painting didn't work well. Um, and here's the front. I did about three coats on here, so I'm feeling pretty good about how consistent and thick it is. There are some spots that are still a little wet, but I wanna move on with the project and actually finish it sometime today. Um, here are the clothes pins, and there are some little spots that are definitely still wet, but it's good enough. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually hot glue three one on each of the like rungs so the second one down the fourth rung down and this the bottom one the sixth one down and I'm gonna do them on each of the sides and on the center that way when I string the ribbon around it and glue it into place next there will be a gap between the actual board and the ribbon so the clothes pins can stick I apologize if that sounds really weird but I will take um, I'll check in with you guys and try to take some videos and stuff in between so you guys can kind of see the process uh, but basically right now I'm gonna take these which are definitely glued shut or like painted shut um, and I'm going to glue those in place and I notice like as I hold it up there you can see like the the tan in there it really doesn't matter and like the back of its tan too um, it doesn't really matter too much though because they will be covered with ribbon only the top little area is going to be shown like just from the sides and the front and that's really painted so we're good to go um, some of the paint is still a little wet hence like my fingers have paint on them um, but once we glue these in, in place we only have like one or two more steps and then it's all done and I'm really excited so we're going to keep moving forward, keep pushing forward, and finish this craft, and I'm really excited. I'll check in with you guys soon. <laughs> hot gluing is done and I didn't even burn my fingers yet. We still have more hot gluing to go, fair warning. Okay, so here is the board now. You can see it has the clothes pins on it. Um, not very exciting, but what we're gonna do next is I have this black ribbon and I'm going to measure it three times to go across the three strips that have the clothes pins. Um, from there, sorry, I thought I had paint 
well, I do have paint on me, but I thought I got more paint on me. Um, from there, I'm going to start by gluing it at the center clothespin, then the outside clothespins, then wrap it around the back and glue it again. And um, that will, again, allow a little bit of a gap in between the board and the ribbon, so it'll actually hold the clothespins. Um, I'm, this part, I don't really know if I'm going to be able to film any of. We're going to try our best, but um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of explain it ahead of time just in case. But I will check in in a moment once I have that done, and then from there, I, we can start attaching the clothespins and making sure it works. I'm really excited this is done. The painting is definitely the longest part. Definitely the longest part is like waiting for the paint to dry. If I had just gotten my hair dryer out, we wouldn't have had this problem, but oops. Okay, I'll check in soon. I only burnt myself a teensy bit that time. Uh, all right, so here is the finished board. As you can see, I glued everything, glued the ribbon, and then I glued it around to the backside. I ran out of hot glue like right at the end, and my hot glue gun was not feeling it. Um, so that's where we're at. But I really like how it looks, and most important test, holds it really well. And if I really wanted, I could go from both directions to get pins on here. Now what I'm actually gonna do, I realized I need like a little bit of a longer nail than I think I might just have at my house. So I'm gonna see if my push pins will hold these up on my wall and if not, I will likely like check in tomorrow. Um, but really quick, I'm gonna go check and see if I have a way to hang this up on my wall. I obviously don't wanna hang it up um, if it's gonna fall. <laughs> I don't wanna put a bunch of pins on it if it's gonna fall. Um, so I will check in in a moment or tomorrow. One of the two. Um, either way, I'm really excited how it looks so far and this is going to be so cool on my wall. So um, I will be right back either in a few minutes or tomorrow. One of the two. I don't really know yet. I don't know. All right, we got my bow wall and my clothespins. It is attached with some push pins as you can see. And uh, now we're gonna put the whole bag worth of pins on it so you can see the final product. All right, so my pin wall is all done. I have a great way to display my spirit pins. And what's really great is I can definitely squish them to be a little bit closer if I wanted. So I have a lot of room for this upcoming cheer season. Um, overall, I really like how it turned out and it can be done with lots of different colors and glitters. And um, I definitely love it. I already want like a bigger one though because I can see this filling up this next cheer season. So I wanted to quickly wrap the video up here as opposed to in front of the pins just because it was a really awkward spot and hard to kind of hold the camera and stuff. But um, overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really, really good. And like I said, like there's lots of room for it to grow. And I did notice that if I put the pins on like the top half of the ribbon, it eventually started tipping forward. So I had to make sure they were on the whole way. Um, but it, it looks really great. And you could definitely put like quotes on it, do different colors, like for your team, um, different things like like that and I know mine's gonna get filled up so I already might need to get a bigger one or it might be something that I have two of or that I just keep my favorite pins out um, but overall I really enjoyed it and I wanted to talk to you guys about the cost um, basically it was what $7.99 for the wooden thing and I think I had coupons on all this stuff um, the little bottles of paint that I bought I only used one bottle and I want to say at most they were 99 cents sometimes those little bottles of paint are only like 98 cents so I'm not certain which brand I went for and like how much that costs but very cheap um, the rip Ribbon was either $3.99 or $4.99. I did buy two spools of it, but I only used one. And this was again with like three coats of paint on the front, two on the back, and then I made three strips of the ribbon. So I had lots to go around. Um, the hot glue guns and the hot glue I already owned at home, so that wasn't a purchase. And then the clothespins were actually ones I bought for last year's season and never decorated. So all in all, like I did this for well under $20. It did take me a long time, mostly just because of the paint drying, but definitely worth it to have a really cool way to display my pins. And they are like right next to my bow wall. So it's just like all right in a row there and I absolutely love it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video though, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below your thoughts on this kind of pin holder. Is it a good idea? 
How do you feel about it? Um, is there another method that you would prefer to do? Uh, one thing I didn't do in this video too is I have a lot of like actual pins, like those Varsity Spirit pins, and I thought about putting those on there as well. I might not just because it's already so full, but it's definitely another way to fill it in. Um, but if you guys display your pins a different way, let me know. I would love to hear some suggestions. Finally, make sure you are subscribed to my channel with notifications on so you find out as soon as new videos are posted. I have a lot of videos scheduled while I'm gone in Ireland, this being one of them, and I'm really excited for some of the content coming up. Plus, cheer season starting, and uh, once comps start, I will be passing out lots of pins and looking for help in doing so. Um, I started getting these like mini ones last year's season, and they're my favorite, and uh, I already can't wait to pass them out to you guys this year, and to hopefully get even more pins for my pin wall. Um, I absolutely love the whole idea of spirit pins, and when I get one, it just makes me so excited, so I love doing that for other people. Um, but so stay tuned for all the vlogs, all the reactions, just all the fun this year's season. I cannot wait. Uh, for now, though, thank you to Casey, who helped me design this project. She kind of pitched her ideas in a few times when I was looking for some help. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys all so, so much for watching, and I will see you all soon.